we got the Rivals documentary that aired on A&E between you guys, the Dudleys, and Edge and Christian. I know you had a family screening of that. Uh, what'd you end up thinking of this? Yeah, it was very... It was very cool. Uh, so I'd set it to record. We we're actually doing something the night that it originally aired. And we watched it a little bit later. We watched it together as a family. And it was cool because Max was seeing some of my stuff. But now he's at the point where he's starting to understand like what a, a tables, ladders, and chairs match is. He's at the point where he's like uh, taking better bumps and whatnot in the ring. He's getting bored out of here. There was uh, Queen Rebecca calling him. And uh, it, it was cool because he got to see it. And I could just... The look in his eye, you can kind of see that he he gets the bug a little bit watching it, you know, especially when he goes to the ring. And I, I posted a video where, you know, Marty's doing leg drops. Marty's all in on everything wrestling, you know, but the Max will do a splash off the top or a swanton. He did a Harlem hangover at one point, you know, so so it's cool because they Max was at the age where he can start to comprehend exactly what we've done and like the impact we've made and the legacy we've created. So they, they really enjoyed it. It was cool to watch that with the family. Once again, hats off to WWE and A&E for doing such a great job on that. Uh, I wish Jeff and I could have had some updated interviews for it. All of her stuff was really, really old. It was so funny listening back to me talk in 1999. We did a, a piece and we all sat down for interviews right after the tag team ladder match. And Jesus Christ, this southern accent in my voice is so strong and so thick. That was way before it leveled out a little bit better. I'm still a Hebrew from Podunk Cameron, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was so deep in 1999. It was crazy. That drawl. You had yeah. it, man. You had Boy. something. You just had some peanut butter stuck on the roof of your mouth, you know, <laughs> trying to raised in the woods, brother. Raised yeah. by the woods. No, that's awesome, man. That's that's great that you guys got the flowers. You got the recognition and. To relive those years must have been so much fun. And I, I'm sure for the kids to see that, like you said, Maxwell, appreciating it a little more. Right. Uh, that That's what put the Hardys on the map. That's what put the Dudleys on the map. It's what put Edge and Christian on the map. So glad that WWE, you know, for a long period of time, I feel like a lot of WWE documentaries were very like revisionist history. But yes, now I, I feel like they've opened their minds a little more on some of that stuff. Hundred uh, percent. Their their minds have been much more open. Once again, because you look at it, you have four individuals, and I mean, this match became a staple of the pro wrestling industry following a starting, you know, the the triangle ladder match and the TLC one, TLC two. This match became a staple, and it's something that still happens on a regular basis, right? A TLC match, and especially a ladder match, the way it was became a money in the bank deal, and it's like a staple in WWE. Like we we were the guys behind all that, right? So. The, the fact that they acknowledged Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Adam Copeland, and Jay Rizzo, four individuals that were under contract to another company at the time that dropped is, is a big deal. And it is them taking a step forward. And once again, uh, honoring history, especially their history. And I, and I love the fact that they did that so selfish, uh, self, selfishly, selfishly, selflessly, selflessly. Ah, There's your draw. Here we go. Yeah, no, I'm glad that they did that so selflessly. There you go. 